No wonder your browsing Vanilla. history is so weird. <laughs> Dude, it's weird. And I pick it up, and there was a certain funk. And a certain funk I only smell if there's poop involved. <laughs> Tattoos. She wearing really tightly fitting scrubs. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Trying to get me kicked out of my own house. <laughs> What's going on, Internet? Welcome back to Only Cops. It is Josh and Bill again with another Officers React. On this episode, we will be breaking down Family Guy. And the title of this episode is Barely Legal. That's also so, what the thumbnail is going to be called. So. <laughs> so I'd be curious to see what awful rabbit hole producer Juan has put us in for this. So uh, go ahead and ride two men with us and we'll go see what this is all about. Hey, Joe, where you been? We haven't seen you in days. Uh, ever since Mayor West deployed the police to Cartagena, yeah, I've been working nonstop. The only reason I didn't have to go myself right. is that South America isn't wheelchair accessible. Hey, you guys, <laughs> we should help Joe out. We could be cops, right, Joe? Well, we have started an emergency training program at the police academy, but I'm not sure that you're cut out for the job. Come on, we'll be great cops. Besides, it's bound mm. to go better than my deep sea training. Huh. So I don't, I don't think uh, you can deputize people. I think this most state laws have some provision for deputizing an individual. Or there's like a good Samaritan clause uh, in a lot of state statutes where like if you are a civilian and you see something that's like police yeah. needing assistance or there's like some sort of crime afoot, it's very sketchy, but you could intervene. <sighs> I would And there are certain protections where uh, even citizens can get, um, what's it called? Uh, hey, look, it's you. It is me. That's my admin. Who's just missing the admin? Huh? There's, there's producer Juan as Vader, like, yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Content. <laughs> yes. But uh, uh, so citizens can uh, get qualified immunity by stepping in under a Good Samaritan clause. Or, like I said, when you have affirmative defenses to prosecution as far as like self defense or defense of a third person. But try not to. I would avoid doing that if you could. Yeah. But who am I to tell you not to do it? I did a bunch of dumb stuff when I was a cop, so. I guess that's true. It is what it is. I'd be a hypocrite. Peter Sir Wong. Hey. I was waiting for y'all to finish your Bro, spiel. wow. He said he was he waiting was, for us to finish. Hey, he was he's taking care of business over there. Okay. I had to take I care to I had to take and, care and of I, my business. He's taking care of business. <laughs> yeah. Chill out. Our women are uh, just because your wife ignores you. <laughs> yeah. Just because ignore just cause your wife is here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're neglecting ours. That's, that's right. That's true. You're sacrificing for you. time. For you. Yeah, yeah. For, for you. you. That's right. Oh, look at them. Wow, look at this academy. This looks like a boarding school. It kind of... Well, minus Harry Potter. Yeah. One in the oven. <laughs> I mean, that fits today's standards, I yeah. guess. Well, this is it. The first day of Police Academy 4. Welcome to the Four. Police Academy. <laughs> We're gonna start by learning how to do a cavity search. Peter, you will That's be definitely day one. Quagmire, you will be the suspect. Begin. Sir, I suspect you are in possession of... This is what happened to you. This is exactly what happened to me. You uh, got a police cavity search. Yep, 100%. Um, jailers, actually, uh, are the ones that do cavity searches, if one is to be done. Um, this is not a police... Do they do it? Not really? like like a county. They won't do that. At yeah, I was gonna level. say not that's, our that's jail. Definitely a county thing, typically. But yeah, it, the typically officers. I guess unless you're in a really small department, you're not doing this. So you're not gonna learn it in the yeah. academy. I was never. T I don't have any certifications in cavity searches. Sorry, Ooh. sorry to my female audience here. I'm just saying that <laughs> the people that we've arrested and had to see naked when you have to yep. do a strip search. Also, do not get oh. arrested with drugs. God. Not even weed, dude. It, it's man... Mandatory strip search if yep. you're found with drugs. If you hear the term 57 in a jail, you're yeah. about to have a bad day. Yeah. Nobody's going to... Like, the jailer's not happy. Real The cop's day. not happy. And the, the cop can't say no. Like, nope. if you come in with a drug offense, you're screwed. I can't tell you how many times I've just tried to avoid it. Me too. Because <laughs> it's like just some poor college kid or whatever. And, I, and they're like, hey, what did he get jailed on? And I'm like... What was that? It was a domestic. He's like, oh, is there anything else? Your affidavit's got more than one charge on it. And I was like, yeah, yes. he's, got, he's got had some weed on him. <laughs> he's like, oh, and so he's a 50... Like, and he's like, like, like a sick... Hey, we're, we're ready for yeah, you. Yeah, like a sick, kinky bastard. He's like, oh, so he's a 57? All excited, uh, like sick uh, bastard. Uh, Run corrections, I'm not even apologizing for that. Y'all uh, some sick dudes. Yuck. 
make it all. And then, to be fair, it's their responsibility. But well, yeah, but who thinks they're gonna go like, I'm gonna go be a police officer and change the world? No, you're just gonna see dicks. You're gonna see dicks and buttholes. You're see a bunch. I guess if you're a female, you're gonna see a bunch of vaginas. Look at that. <sighs> Some of the people who get arrested, bro. That's not fun. What they don't is what they don't put in the recruiting packets, boys and girls. Only there here, only cops. We'll tell you the truth. That's from us to you. I, I love you. I am scarred for life. Love you, mean it. And I'm gonna have to give you a full cavity search. Drop your pants. Uh, Peter. Oh. You don't have to pull your pants down. Oh, sorry, I'm still learning. All right, start the search. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, a doorknob. Oh, that cheese wouldn't be good. A live fish. Good burger. I think that's, that's copyright everything. infringement. You want me to double is. check? <laughs> you want me to double wow. check? Wow. Um, that toy car could have really got stuck up there. I'm just to, to, to not hurt the people that'll get mad that we're just crusty cops that can't get see the fun in this. I mean, it's Family Guy. It is what it is. But, well, that um, was funny. I thought it was funny. It, it is dangerous to put things in what we call the prison purse. Especially uh, drugs. You, seriously, you gotta be careful with that. You could like, th seriously like, ingest that. Well, because like if you're taking it rectally, just so you guys can have a a fun science oh, experiment. Thank you for that word. It goes straight into your bloodstream. So I actually caught a kid. Poor kid, story time. I had a kid that mm. barricaded himself. And a kid, he was probably like 22. He, he had barricaded kid. himself in a bathroom. His girlfriend was super worried about him because like she kept knocking on the door and he like wouldn't answer. So we're thinking it's like a sick 20 dude. And, he in there and he hurt himself. Sig 20 is like somebody dealing with a mental health crisis. And so we, uh, we had to boot this door. And this guy starts yelling at us for booting the door. And he's hammer drunk. I mean, Heck hammer yeah. drunk. It's my favorite. And I was like, I don't smell alcohol right away, right? So we get him out there and I was like, man, but he's like drunk. I don't see any beer bottles. I don't see anything. Well, I look in the trash. And there's a little bottle of vanilla extract. It's like maybe this big. And I had gloves on because I'm not an idiot. And I pick it up, and there was a certain funk. And a certain funk I only smell if there's poop involved. <laughs> and so I kind of look at the, the thing, and I look at him. And it, it's, it's you, you know, like the little the little uh, things you get in, like, the, the hotel, like, mini bars? Mm -hmm. About yep. that big. Yep. So I sat there, and I was like, I, 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 was with, uh, I was with Tabitha. Oh. And so I was like, perfect. I, I look at her, and I was like, I hold this thing up, and she looks at me, and I look at her, and I was like, I'm like, bro, did you put this vanilla up your butt? <laughs> so what I tell him, I asked him, he's like, no, all man, like hammered drunk. God, I didn't put vanilla in my butt, and I was like, hey, I Googled it, and sure enough, I you guys want bad ideas, more and more bad ideas from only cups. Oh, no wonder your vanilla, browsing history is so weird. <laughs> Dude, it's weird. The vanilla extract can get you drunk, but it's super hard to drink. And so the quicker way to get yeah, yourself yeah. drunk is to do it rectally. So I took him, and get this, on, on an NED for trying to harm himself. Because he could have died from, like, poisoning, basically. He's basically poisoned Yeah, but, himself. like, vanilla extract is more expensive per ounce than alcohol is. Hey, but it's what he could get his hands on. Or Was he not 21? In, uh, I think, uh, no, I don't think he was. Uh, He's 22. Huh? He might have been he 22. Was, I think he was guessing he was his young. age. Yeah. Um, it makes sense if he wasn't 21. But yeah, he put he put vanilla extract up his butt. Or if it was what was accessible and he just didn't feel that's like true. leaving. If he was already drunk. That's yeah. true. That and was just true. like, I need to get more drunk. Or yeah. he thought, hey, maybe if my butthole smells nice, my girlfriend will lick it. Yeah. There you go. It was something. The, she, the, the, the girlfriend the was super cool about it, though. I will say he that. He was like Josh, and as soon as he heard about it, and was like, I'm going to Google this, and I'm going <laughs> to try it. You're like, wow. You heard this to say, Josh tried it. to say, if, it's a, if it was a Pokemon attack move, vanilla up the butt is super effective, apparently. Like, oh. So that's, that's the only Maybe. expertise I have about butts and policing. Is, it's know, not some, the only some, expertise, yeah, some, trust some, me. Some kid shoved trust a vanilla me. thing up his butt to get The rest of the expertise will be on Patreon. This guy. Patreon. <laughs> this guy. He's got some real <laughs> admin butt stories for you. Oh, it's true. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I should have charged for some of that. <laughs> that's why it's Patreon only. Go Patreon join. Only as low as a dollar a month, you anyway, bums. Anyways, we'll keep going. Well, Lois, I am now a graduate wow. of the Cohort Very Police high. Academy and an official on-duty cop. Oh, on duty I cop. can't believe I'm married to a big, scary police officer. Just keep your eyes on the eggs, ma'am. Whoa! <laughs> yes, officer. 
<laughs> you are such a dirty cop. Don't break those yokes, ma'am. Oh, my God, Lois, I hit you. I know. Now stick your finger in there and twist it. Whoa. Those are the girls we tell the rookies to, to worry about. Those are batch bunnies, dude. Those are, that's those a are, batch bunny that's if a, I've ever seen a, one. That's, that. that's your first ex-wife right there. That's the X-tier first ex-wife right there. Oof, Oof man. Oof. They're out there, though. They're out there. That's 100% yeah, accurate. Yeah, just ask anyone that you know that's a police officer. They know yeah. They know a Lois. She got tattoos? She wearing really tightly fitting scrubs? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> trying to get me kicked out of my own house. <laughs> Good thing my wife doesn't have any tattoos. Uh, see, I wasn't describing your wife. I'm just just hey. her profession. <laughs> just her pro hey. Does the stereotype fit? She could have been an EMS. Or a dispatcher. Oh, no, no it's, it's, it's rarely a dispatcher, let's be honest. <laughs> it's, that's it's always, always a dispatcher. dispatcher. <laughs> it's 100%. Bro, y'all earn that stuff. It's a pre-requirement to get into dispatch to be like Lois. I feel like it's what it is. They're like, they're like, they'll like show you, like introduce you to cops. And they'll just watch you, and they'll be like... If you go... Yeah. Hired. I gotta tell you, this whole cop thing ain't as exciting as I thought it was gonna be. Facts. When do we get to shoot some bad guys? Never. Guys, it's Never. not all about action. It's about staying vigilant until you're needed. What are you doing? I'm watching Bonnie undress. Bonnie's your wife. I know. I like to watch her strip and pretend she's a woman who I've never met, but who looks just like Bonnie and lives in my house. Mm. Get naked, you strange whore! Peter, I haven't seen Meg or Brian since last night. I think something may have happened. Mom, is it bad if I saw Meg tie up Brian last night, put him in the trunk of his car, and then drive away? What? Chris, why didn't you say anything? I dropped the ball. I'm sorry. I, I have just been buried in paperwork for the past 72 hours. Oh, my God. Brian was I right. Meg really must be obsessed with him. Oh, Peter, we gotta find them. Don't worry, Lois. We're the police. And we'll do our very best to find Brian and girl Chris. Girl, girl Chris. Chris. That's I awesome. I really having Whoa. a great time tonight, Brian. God, I can't believe you went to all this trouble. Well, you know me. Oh, I do, Brian. I know you so well. So, are you ready? For what? For the fun we're gonna have, Brian. She took her shoes we're off. We're gonna have it's fun tonight. Oh, no. dangerous. Good, Don't do it. Old, Don't do it. All American oh. fun. Gross. Listen, Meg, uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you here. I'm, I'm a little uncomfortable. Oh, just relax. We're gonna be here for a while. Well, I don't know if... You... Wait, what? We're while? gonna be here for a while. A while? Yeah, a while. You mean a while? A while. A while. A while. A while. A while. A while. Brian, like, you're acting oh, weird. Oh, come on, that one doesn't Queer. <laughs> Don't move, dirtbag. Holy <laughs> crap, what the hell is this? <laughs> Brian, she's a teenager. Yeah, Brian, you're doing the same thing that Mia Farrow did to that Oriental guy that Woody Allen brought home from the circus. Peter, hold on to Whoa. that thought, because I'm going to explain to you when we get home all the things that are wrong with that statement. But Thank first, you, Meg, you need to let Brian go. But, Mom, I love him. Honey, you're just confused. I'm not confused. I've never been more certain about anything in my life. I need him. Every domestic we've ever gone to. Oh, God, I wish I could make you understand. You don't know what you need. I know what she needs. Oh, my God. You do? You bet. Bring her by my house around 8.30 tonight. I'll take care of her. What? 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 From an educational standpoint, I do think that it is incumbent on adults to sit there and try to do their best that they can to influence young people in the right way and not the police. Because yeah. police are sick, creepy motherfuckers like that. And yes. <laughs> no longer interact with people in a normal way. The brain chemistry uh, changes a little, I It think. does, just a smidge. Um... I mean, that being said, it is what it is. It's Family Guy. It's good for them. Trying, yeah. Trying to be helpful police officers. I like it. Um, shout out to the very screwy writers of Family Guy. So anyways, that, that's all I can really glean out of this. If you guys uh, want, go check us out on TikTok. We're going to do a bunch of funny skits on there. If go, you want the adult version of this video, go join Patreon, the baby. Patreon. It's, uh, as low as $1 a month. Yeah, buttons. Um, go check us out also on Instagram, and if you go join our Patreon, you can join our Discord. That's how we organize stuff. We go live twice a week, typically Tuesdays and Thursdays at like 7-ish Central Time, for those of you that don't live in the greatest state in the world, that is Texas. 
And uh, I appreciate you guys joining us uh, on Red Tube Man in this uh, video here. So until next time, peace.